Ambassador His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Arsharwan. Your Excellency, President of Argentina's Parliament, Your Excellency, President of the International Parliament for Tolerance and Peace, Member of the International Parliament of Tolerance and Peace, Member of the Parliament of Argentina's Parliament, Your Excellency's Ambassadors, Your Excellency Representative of the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Ladies and Gentlemen, Distinguished Guests, allow me to extend my gratitude and appreciation to the government of Argentina to supporting the GCTP, especially for the warm reception and uh, uh, reflect the, which, ref, uh, which reflects the hospitality of the Argentinese people. I would like also to express my gratitude to the president of the Argentinese parliament, His Excellency Mr. Emilio Monzo, for hosting the third session of the International Parliament for Tolerance and Peace. With a special thanks to all the members of the Argentinian Parliament for their support to conduct this meeting. And the chairman of the committees and all the members of their, for their effort to trigger the, uh, the effective of the uh, IPTP. Since we, have launched, since we have launched the Parliament in Malta on the 6th of July 2018, we have been working hard to build an international parliament capable of effectively contrib contribute the challenge of uh, facing our uh, the challenge facing our world for this reason the parliament has established the five committees and identified their specific direction at the second session of the parliament what was held in uh, Albania on the 16th of November 2018 we have announced the declaration of Tirana for tolerance and peace, which express our vision and future direction to address the issues that we believe, that we believe are the most uh, influential uh, in establishing international peace through this declaration. We affirm that the dissemination of tolerance values inherited in different re religion and culture is our main resp responsibility as parliamentarian. The reality of the world we are living in nowadays reflects that the international society is in a deep need to spread and grow peace culture between human beings. What happened in New Zealand recently, from killing a worshiper in the mosque, followed by bombing the church in Sri Lanka, are all evidence to, of hate and evil that have many negative consequences in, our, in the human beings. And 